I'm Megan Johnson, and it was Cinco de Mayo this week, May 5th. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Everybody knows the true reason, the reason we celebrate Cinco de Mayo is it is because it was the day the margarita was invented. No, that's actually, no, it has nothing to do with the day the margarita was invented. And it has nothing to do when guacamole was invented either. In fact, if you do not know the reason for Cinco de Mayo, please look it up. It's not even Mexican Independence Day, which a lot of us think, think that's the reason of Cinco de Mayo. But having a margarita, we really don't even need an excuse to have a margarita. I love margaritas, they're my favorite cocktail. And especially like many of you, I have been uh, sheltering in place now for quite some time, sporting longer hair than I have in quite a while. And I love a margarita that you can make quickly, it tastes good, and you can serve it to your small, intimate group of family that you're sheltering in place with. Now, people are going to argue, margarita purists are going to argue with me that this margarita is cheating. And I would agree, it is not a purist margarita. If we were having a gourmet purist margarita, I get out my shaker, I get out my strainer, I get out my little measuring shot glass, and then I would also chill my glass. I like to drink my margaritas in a martini, something a bartender at a sushi restaurant in Kansas City taught me, of all places. But we don't need any of that because we're gonna do an easy, tasty margarita. And the what I love to use to make an easy tasty margarita is the Kirkland from Costco. I have no financial interest in Costco. I just love Costco. Kirkland Premium Margarita Ready to Drink. Translation, there's already alcohol in here, okay? Do not make the mistake that my Uncle Nick made when he came over a couple of years ago and he thought there was no alcohol and he kept doctoring it like, like there was no alcohol in it. Yeah, that was not pretty for him. Uh, so here it is. It, it, this is the Kirkland Premium Margarita Ready to Drink. You don't want just the mix. You want this ready to drink stuff. The beauty is even now, you can, ha you can have this delivered, at least here in Phoenix, Arizona. You can have it delivered from Costco. It'll be here within hours. Here's how this drink works. Here's the beauty. Get out your glass. I actually like this little glass that says uh, the year I was born on it. My girlfriend gave it to me for my birthday this year, 1970. Now, I know a lot of times people will say, you know, cut a lime and use a slice of the lime to get the edge of your glass moist so the salt adheres to it. I prefer to use my agave, and this is what I do. I take the agave, put it in a little plate, I just squirt a little agave in the plate, and then I run the edge of the glass in that agave there in the plate, which makes the, t the edge of the glass nice and sticky so that when you take out your little salt tray, the salt adheres really nicely to the glass. Now, full disclosure, my husband prefers to use the slice of lime trick, he said, because the agave on the glass gums up your salt. Um, you know, we can always add more salt. I want lots of salt on my glass. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. We need to have as much salt as possible because it's so hot here. All right, so here's how easy this drink is. Take your ice. I'm not even going to mix it, okay, because maybe we, you know, I have my little shelter in place, my family here, we're making margaritas. I'm going to pour my ice right directly into the glass, just directly right into the glass. Take my Kirkland Premium ready-to-drink margarita, and I'm just going to pour it right in there. Just pour it in. I don't even have to measure. I'm just pouring it. It's, I'm free pouring. I mean, this is just crazy stuff, free pouring. I free pour my drink. Now, this margarita, just as is, it's me. It's acceptable. I mean, you know, I would not not drink it. Uh, it's acceptable. But here's what's going to make it a little bit more special. I take a premium tequila. This one is Patron. Premium tequila. I know the purists are going to say Patron has become abundant. Uh, it used to be very boutique-y, but then Paul Mitchell bought it, and now you can see it everywhere. I take the Patron, and I pour a shot of Patron right there on top, Okay. Now, just remember what my Uncle Nick did a couple years ago. He thought there was no alcohol and he did lots more pouring. Pour a little shot there on top. I then take my agave, the agave I use to uh, moisten my glass. I take a little shot of agave in there. And then I take a little Grand Marnier and I top it off with a little Grand Marnier. I actually had a client give me this big bottle of Grand Marnier. Uh, I don't know how she knew I love this, but she gave me a big old bottle of Grand Marnier. And I had a bartender tell me once that all bartenders love Grand Marnier because they make a bad drink taste good. Here it is, the 
easy way to make a good tasting party margarita. Have a wonderful week. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. I look forward to eventually seeing everybody face to face or virtually soon. Bye.